what's up scrappy peeps it's Adele from Inky Quill and I'm here with a little 6x12 process video for you today now it is a bit of a cheeky one because the subject matter is Poppet's bottom now this little piece of floof she's so floofy and I just couldn't resist taking this photo of her with her legs splayed out we call this supermaning with her legs out the back and I just had to do it so for this layout, I'm mainly using the crepe paper gather um, bits and pieces. So the ephemera pack, the six by six paper pad, and I think some of the chipboard, if I can remember. So I was extremely indecisive because the paper pad was new. And of course, as soon as you get a new paper pad, you have too many options. So I was quite indecisive with this one. Now I do struggle a lot with my ATG in this because I had loaded the tape a little bit wrongly. So you'll see me with my frustration in a little moment with that, but I do get it fixed soon. So I decided to pick, a lot of times I get asked, um, how do I pick the colors for my layouts? And I mainly look at the photo and kind of draw out either colors that are in the photo or colors that kind of, Oh, coordinate I guess with the colors in the photo so here you can see there's a little bit of orange like a peachy kind of orange there's a bit of that aquary green and then I just thought the dark blue was a nice a nice combination with those just adding a little glassine bag here to add some a bit more texture do I add it I spin it around I'm out of white tissue paper I desperately need white tissue paper but it's one of those things that you never remember until you're home again <laughs> do you ever have that what's the one crafty item that you run out of a lot and you always seem to forget that you need and instead you buy all the other pretty things and leave the one thing that you actually need let me know what yours is so yep more frustration more tapping of fingers and then i solve the problem and it's all okay so i always save these little glassine bags whenever i get um, like a, an order or sometimes they're in kit clubs where they put their little bits and bobs in I always save them because they're great for a layering because they give it that, a little bit of extra texture a little bit of something different other than the, just the, the paper the paperness they're not as papery <laughs> so what am I doing now I've always got to put some baker's twine in my tag and I just grabbed my baker's twine off eBay eBay is a great place for a lot of random little bits and pieces that you can use in scrapbooking if you're someone who doesn't have great access to local physical scrapbooking shops or if you're an aussie person like me and shipping from any american store is ridiculous um, ebay does actually have quite a few little things like wood veneer and um, baker's twine and little like resin pieces you can find a lot of things you've just got to spend a few hours searching it's a good when you're in bed and you know but it's not good when you're in bed because that's when you buy all the things <laughs> it's good to search when you're in bed and then put them in your watch later and then wait until you're awake enough in the morning to remember your purchases and then you can buy them <laughs> so I decided it needed a little bit of a doily and I am putting a butt ton of tape on this one. A lot of tape Adele. I must have been in a very tapey mood. I think it was because I've done so many different layers. It was quite, um, the, the back of the photo cluster was quite bumpy. So I wanted to put a lot of tape on to make sure that it was secure. I don't mind using a lot of tape. I would rather use a lot of tape and have it stay on um, now my title here is a little bit naughty it's called but human because that's what I imagine that poppet calls me a, a human not a human a human um, the com the title is but human look at that ass because it was fluffy as and it was like she was showing it off like the little fluffy bunny that she is <laughs> So I'm just going through my tiny word stickers here. Let me know in the comments down below if you have a pet, what is their cheeky thing that they do? Poppet likes to do this thing where she'll bounce up to you for a pat. She's like a cat. So she'll bounce up to you for a pat. You'll pat her for maybe 10 seconds and then she'll just jump just out of reach. 
So just so you can't reach her. And then she'll flop down and she'll put a bottom out in the air and her legs out. So it's like, oh, look, you can look, but you can't touch. It's exactly what she's doing in this photo. So <laughs> let me know in the comments below, what cheeky thing do your pets or um, people's pets that you know, what do they get up to? Because this girl is definitely a cheeky little monkey. So I'm just adding these tiny word stickers. I have a feeling these ones, which are some of my favorites. I just really like the font. I think they were from a really old Teresa Collin sticker sheet and I got three of them and I just cut the alphabet part off and stapled them together so that they could stay together so that I wouldn't run out of letters. I think that's what they are, yeah. I have a thing for tiny word stickers and I'm running out. Oh, I spell things wrong. What did I look? Ah, oh, I put but human look at, but human at that. This is baby brain moment. But human at that dat ass. Doesn't make sense at all. <laughs> so I have a thing for tiny word stickers, but I'm at a point where I have a lot of sticker sheets that are running low on vowels and I'm almost at the point. Oh, that was another moment. I put, did I put glue on top of sticker backing? I think I did. This was a very baby brain layout. This one, I remember. I was very frustrated by the end of it. <laughs> um, but yes, I'm running low. So if I, if I have a sticker sheet that I deem not worthy of keeping anymore, um, I usually look and see if I can spell bunny or bun because the last vowels that I'm always left with are U's. And if I can do that, I might just put it on a separate little piece of um, like baking paper and save for later. But the rest of them I usually put into my art journaling collage bin, uh, which is really handy because I use them for backgrounds. So don't throw them out. You can use them for a background. They are they are still usable, even though all your vowels are gone and you're left with a million cues as always. I can't, one day I really, really want my own product line and I'm only going to give you guys one Q, one capital, one lowercase and we're done. I'm sorry if you have children named Quentin and Queenie, <laughs> you'll have to buy two packets because I'm sick of the Q situation. So I'm just adding some tiny word stickers. These ones are from Citrus Twist. And you can see I filmed this video quite a while ago because those sticker sheets are looking quite a lot emptier now than they, they were here. Adding some journaling, just some really brief little journaling here. And I can't find this exact crown pen again. I just got this off eBay probably probably like a year and a half, two years ago. Um, but I can't find the exact same one again. So that's going to be a sad, I think I only have three left because they came in a bulk pack. It's going to be a sad day when that runs out. <laughs> Adding some little bits and pieces that I got in a Citrus Twist bits and pieces kit, um, which is just, I think that's a really good way to kind of bulk up your embellishments. There's a lot of uh, kit clubs that instead of doing like a full-on scrapbooking or project life kit just have embellishment kits I know Citrus Twist does them um, Hip Kit does them not sponsored at all just letting you know because a lot of the time it's the embellishments that I want new ones of or I run out of I think it's a it's a great idea to have adding some Hardy Shine and I miss the Hardy Shine song I was too busy gabbering dipping off some of those really moist looking Heidi Shine splodges and I think we're almost done. I really like the color scheme of this. It's very it's very soft. It's not my usual pink and turquoise. It's kind of a softer version like a coral and mint. <laughs> so thanks for watching guys and I really do appreciate when you give the video a thumbs up. It means a lot to me um, and it also helps people to see it in their um, recommended videos as well. So thank you for watching and look at that. Look at that ass. You can't, you can't help but just want to squish it. Oh, she's so squishy and cute. So I will see you all in a video, hopefully weekly inky soon and otherwise process video next Wednesday. Bye.